For Katie, what qualities does Corey have that makes him stand out from the rest? Okay. He's a good listener. And when a woman says, when a man goes up to a woman and says, nothing's wrong, a lot of men will take that literally and go, okay, right, let me carry on with my day. Yeah. I will never forget I was standing in the kitchen one time and I was in a bit of a huffy puffy mood. Or was this quiet? I can't remember. Whatever. And you said, what's wrong? And I went, nothing's wrong. And you said, I'm going to stand here and stand here and listen to you for the next three or four hours so you tell me everything that's going on in your mind right now. And no man has ever said that. And that's quite literally all women want to hear. You know, women want to hear that you're there for them and present. And You want to feel heard and understood. Safe. You want to feel heard and understood. And we're having this conversation, weren't we, a lot last night, which we can go into. <laughs> but um, a woman wants to feel safe and secure and wants to feel like her space is being held for her. And that's exactly what you did, and you understood that. And then I let rip. <laughs> 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 and, then, and then after, really, you don't need three or four hours, do you? You need, like, 15, 20 minutes or so, and then you just want to be heard. And a man's job is not to fix it, it's just to listen. That's what all a woman wants. Whereas men just want to fix it. But you weren't someone who was just going to fix it. You were just there to listen. So that's pretty special. It's important if, you know, because us guys all want to fix it. We're fixers. Mm. That's what we do is that if you're inclined to give advice, because women will start complaining, you don't listen. You're not listening. He's like, what are you talking about? I'm right here. But they take us offering solutions when they just want to talk and have mm-hmm. us as a sounding board as we're not listening yeah. and we're not paying attention. That's why it's important to repeat some of it back and kind of understand where... So she feels like you actually got the point of the message or that you understood where she mm. was coming from. But there are times where she wants advice. And if you're... Mm. That's why I said, for guys that don't know, it's it's always better to ask. Or do you want me just to listen or do you want my advice? That's it. And we were having this conversation last night. And if you really bring it down to the bare minimum basics, women want to feel safe and secure. Men want to have freedom and respect. And then Corey added in loyalty as well. But that's the raw basics. And obviously everyone has all their own needs and what everything, but on the main fundamental basis. So if a woman's main need is to feel safe and secure, as long as a man can make her feel that way or hold space for that, she can then be vulnerable. Because connection can only require a bit of vulnerability. And so if you create that space for that, then a woman can be a bit more vulnerable and slowly open up when she feels ready and safe to do that. But a woman will never feel safe to be vulnerable and let off if, if a man doesn't create a strong space for that. So if a man's truly in his masculine, a woman can be truly in her feminine. And that's one of the polarities. So how does a guy create the safe space for you to feel safe enough to let your feminine energy blossom? What is it how would, how would you How would you answer that? What well, would you consider that is? It's not trying to solve our problems. It's creating... Because feminine energy is chaos. And women's emotions and moods, they change like the weather, especially, you know, around that time of the month. There's like, you know, they can become kind of like Jekyll and Hyde at times. And so part of being a man is not getting butthurt and letting those emotions affect you. It's letting them play out and not judging them or telling her that she can't cry or that's stupid. I don't want to talk about this. It's just whatever she shows up as, whether she's happy, she's upset, she wants to have a meltdown, you encourage her to do that. I remember one time we were sitting in my car. We were in front of that old, that uh, Chamberlain's. In in a car park? Yeah, we were in a car park and she was, you know, I could tell she was bubbling up. She was ready to have a meltdown, but... She just, and I was just said, it's okay, just let it out. And she just, woo, you know, I don't remember what it was about, but she just started bawling. And, I remember that. And uh, she was crying, and it, so I created the conditions where she just have a meltdown and feel safe enough, because most guys are like, uh, what do I do with this? Yeah, I was going to mention, because a lot of guys get overwhelmed, or they just get, like, ch- they just chicken out. It's like, how can you have a guy understand that? Because it's like you said, we are very emotional, and it's when it comes to interactions with other like our girlfriends and whatnot or yeah, other women people know what we to do. feel safe in that regard but yeah. how can you tell like your viewers especially your male viewers how to be able to understand and handle that well the female I, viewers if your boyfriend doesn't know these things 
is that you got to be able to speak to them in logical terms. It's like, I just need you to listen and be a sounding board and not try to fix it. Just simplify. let it. me lose my shit or be emotional or cry or get upset and just, just listen to me. Be present for me. Be here now with me. To have and an open line. Let me be the way I want to be. If I want to express anger or I want to cry, just let me be that. And so you got to tell the man how to do because we want to help you we want to you know if you're happy we take credit for it if you're unhappy we take the blame for it mm. and so we want to make you happy but it's like you because m- you guys typically speak in examples and expect us to decipher what the example or the purpose of the example was whereas you could say that to another woman and they'll know exactly where you're coming from but as guys you, we need methodical step-by-step instructions we were talking about this weren't we, we were. it's about I think women get to a point of being passive aggressive where they try and expect you, like leading on for what you just said, is like expect a man to read their mind and not actually stating what it is they want. Right. And one thing I've learned over years and years and years is being like, state what it is you want and be direct about mm-hmm. it rather than being trying to work around it and expect a man to figure out what you're trying to get to. No, so, so many women do that. They stop off in a mood expecting their man to get a bit of attention or something like that. Right. Rather than being straight up front, direct, saying this is what I need, this is what I want. Because a lot of women look at men and they're like, oh, they're natural problem solvers, so they can figure this out. He should know. He should know. Yeah. But a lot of men just check out because they're like, this is not a problem that I'm going to solve mm. because she's not communicating with me. And then when she says, nothing's wrong, they're like, yes. they're like oh, okay. okay. <laughs> my bro- or then, when my bro says that to me, he means it. Or then even if, like, you tell them what the problem is and there's those guys that do chicken out, it's like, what's the whole point in helping me out if you're going to chicken out mm. over it? Do You'd be surprised there's guys out there. I, I understand where you're coming from, but if I think you're talking about guys who are chickening out versus checking out, mm. those men are not real men they're not supposed to be in relationships because they aren't ready or maybe nobody ever taught them Th- that's why there's to, this great right. book that you can read they need to man. they need to learn the, the skills um the keys to real growth um how to be in a relationship in order to cohabitate and be in, more importantly, a healthy relationship. Um, that way they don't, down the line, in other relationships come into conflicts like that. Because if they don't fix it at the root, it's only going to get worse with age, and it will create like turmoil and frustration and resentment, along with so many other things. Yeah, and I feel this topic, in my case, it kind of hits, uh, it stands out to me and it hits, uh, I guess you could say home, because from my last relationship, like I've told you guys, that was one of the biggest things that set me off, and because of it, I grew frustrated and had a lot of resentment. You know, being able to just break down, like, and, you know, the person that... Have a Jocelyn you- struggle session? You had lots of those... <laughs> Because you create a safe environment, even at work. Is like if you're a man and you understand this stuff, you, you know you may have maybe it's your mom, maybe it's your sister. Or in this case, one of your coworkers, and she's struggling with something. And like in what we do, everybody's got to be ready to go and ready to film. And if she's got some issue that's a problem, it's oftentimes we would resolve that before we would film and create the space where Jocelyn could vent or have a meltdown or share things, even to the point where some people might be like, oh. Not again. I think Corey's just done with me. No, I mean, it's, it's not just Jocelyn. I, it, I'm i so guilty of oh, yeah. it. She has plenty of meltdowns. I, what are we Jade, at Jade's this got week? some, you know, things going on on the side that it's like everybody Chunky's does perfect, through. though. So Chunky's hit him up. He's single. Chunky's Slide into his DMs. Gentleman. He's doing a, a hot Euro trip. So any <laughs> of our Euro uh, followers. Hot dude Euro trip. Uh, He's going to be in Amsterdam. Emails. Please respect my brother, Chunky, and do him right. 